You ever wonder if quail will hatch their own eggs? Well, it's a question I've been getting a lot lately, so that's what I'm going to answer in today's video. Good morning. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name's Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. And today's video, I'm going to address whether quail will hatch their own eggs or not. It's a question I've been getting a lot recently, and it comes up from time to time. I generally answer it in the comments section. I try to answer every comment that comes in on my videos. Can't always get to all of them. Sometimes the comments get marked as spam for whatever reason. I don't even see those. So forgive me if I haven't answered your question, but I thought I'd address this for the larger group. So, um, First of all, it's very, very rare for a quail to go brooding. If you don't know what that means, brooding means they stop laying eggs and they start sitting on their eggs. It happens with chickens, it happens with quail sometimes, it happens with all birds basically, that they will, um, you know, like I said, go broody, they'll stop laying eggs, they'll lay on their own, sit on their own eggs to hatch them out, but it's rare for quail to do it. They've been domesticated for so long that uh, that's almost been bred out of them in captivity. Uh, you don't see Coturnix quail really that often going broody at all. It does happen from time to time, but again, very, very rare. I've had a few birds from time to time that I go in to collect eggs and they're sitting on their eggs and it almost looks like they're trying to hatch them, but most of the time it's just, just happens to be where they're kind of hanging out. They happen to lay their eggs in the same spot every day. They're not necessarily really uh, sitting on the eggs and they haven't stopped laying eggs, so, but it kind of looks that way from time to time. Now, again, I won't say that it doesn't happen. It does happen from time to time that a quail will go broody and will start sitting on their own eggs. But even in those situations, it's rare that you get a very good hatch rate out of that. Now, I've seen several people that have had quail hatch naturally, and somebody will surely come in and leave a comment down below that said, hey, it happened to me. And you know what? I, I'm not disagreeing with that at all. But generally speaking, even if a bird does go broody, they don't do a very good job of hatching out their own eggs. And when they do hatch out their own eggs, they don't do a very good job of taking care of the chicks. So you don't really get a great hatch rate out of that. You might end up with 10 eggs that you're incubating, and only four or five of them hatch, and only two or three of those survive. So, you know, it's really not something you can kind of count on on a regular basis. If you want to have eggs that hatch, and you want to have you know, birds that you're going to be able to grow out to meet and you want to do that on a regular basis, you really need to invest in an incubator or build your own incubator uh, because it's not going to be reliable to rely on your quail to actually um, to uh, incubate or to hatch out those eggs on their own. Just not very, not just not a very reliable source. Okay, now with that being said, there are some other alternatives if you don't want to invest in an incubator. Um, some people have had really great success using like a bantam hen that has gone broody. There's a small chicken uh, that has gone broody and they will put quail eggs underneath that hen and they've had great success with the that hen hatching out those quail eggs. But again, you're not going to be able to go large scale with that. You're only going to be able to get you know, a dozen or so eggs underneath that bird, you're not going to be able to do 60, 70, 80, or 100 at a time. So it really depends on what your goals are. If you want to try it out and you, you just want to do it just to see if it'll work, by all means, go ahead and do it. And if you want to do it on a regular basis, there's nothing wrong with that at all. But if you are counting on your birds to produce a lot of eggs that you want to hatch out, grow out to meet, you want to have that on a regular basis, again, incubator is the way to go. You're not going to get good, reliable results out of ha trying to hatch them out under another bird. So anyway, pretty short video today, just right to the point, right to the topic, but I thought I would address it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Let me know in below, if you had success hatching out quail eggs under a broody chicken or under a broody uh, quail hen, did you have one that go broody? What kind of success did you have off of that? I'd be interested to know. Thank you so much for watching this video. As always, God bless.